。各位好，这里是 A 级妖怪，我们今天继续《厌世模拟器》的第三章。Do it anymore.、Uh, these reports will kill me one day. I'll have to finish it over the weekend. <sighs> It's time to get to work. This is not a choice. Maybe I'll just ignore it. This game's biggest mystery is not whether it's a bug. Yes. 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 I guess I interrupted you again. Oh, hi. No, no, I, I just, <clears throat> uh, I wrote reports in those last sections, and I was just about to leave for work. Always know when to call. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. What's up? How are you? I'm good, thanks. What about you? Okay, nothing new. I、uh, had a few days off. Oh, that's nice. <笑>又要找姨父。怪不得一直在尴尬的笑。It hasn't come yet. Sorry, but I said it a week ago. No, not yet. Maybe I'm too impatient. I'm sorry for rushing you. You have so much on your mind. I thought. 总会有人去信箱里偷我的。Uh, with my pills, I <laughs> pills, pills.、Uh, I almost forgot to take my pills. <laughs>、uh, so you see.、Uh... <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I、uh, have to go now. Yes. Yes. Sure. Let me know if you still haven't received the letter. Then I'll try.、Mm, well, maybe I'll find something else. Yes, I know it means a lot to you. Well, I won't hold you any longer. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Damn! Did I mess up the address? I'm not going to eat too much. I'm going to have to get those pills. I'm going to have to get those pills. Maybe I should invite Charlotte to do something herself. 作为一个模拟器类的游戏来说，它的剧情实在是太多。Ugh, why is it so wet? 要不要打开看一看呢？不是什么什么事。I shouldn't be this tired. 哇，有人给我下药了。个人来了我家之后，偷偷的把我的药换掉了。好像没有被吓到，怎么办？垃圾箱，鬼地方还整个红色的灯，生怕这个住户不被吓死。I wonder if Alice's mother has a film of this photo somewhere. I actually hadn't thought about it before. I this car took up several parking spaces. Is it because someone was sleeping in front of me? Is it because someone was sleeping in front of me? Is it because someone was sleeping in front of me? Is it because someone was sleeping in front of me? 第一次这么早来上班，是不是有人给我下安眠药了？啊！是 Alice。Where are you？ 这
鬼地方看着，就像我我们这，我们这应该直子也破吧，应该不火化吧？为什么空气中总是有这种灰色的、是碳化的这个灰尘在在空气里面？这个门开起来的声音让人心惊胆颤的，多吓人啊！开个门要把自己吓死了Isn't it a bit early for you? I missed our invigorating conversations. <clears throat> Has Stephen brought the body? Yeah, the trolley's in the hall. Maybe wheeling it to the dissection room will be. I think I'll get straight to work on this one. Focusing on something will do me some good. Christ, this one's heavy. Hey, Mr. Ridley, I need help. I can't lift this bag myself. Ridley, Ugh, wasn't easy, but at least I can start. Why is it today not wearing a shirt? New package must have arrived. I guess Dorothy ordered it. I think I'll skip recording the video for the students today. They don't need to see me and the body. Ugh. And they'll still have the accompanying photos anyway. <clears throat> November twenty seventh, nineteen ninety one, five fourteen p.m. Conduct James Evans Jr., also known as Jesse, age about thirty, weight one hundred and thirty kilograms, height one hundred and eighty centimeters. The deceased's father, James Evans Sr. Is a local businessman. He was the one who reported the disappearance. At the time of the report, his son hadn't been home for three days. The body was found inadvertently in the woods near Petesville. The dogs picked up the scent while searching for a missing boy. The body was found naked and mutilated. Clothes, probably belonging to the deceased, were found lying nearby. Evans had previously been convicted of possession of stolen goods, robberies, and drug trafficking. There were also attempts. Police photos show that the body was not even particularly hidden, but only covered with a thin layer of soil, branches, and leaves. Sounds disturbing. I wonder what condition the body is in then. I'll start by opening the bag. We feel like there's no head. There's no head. Oh fuck! I didn't expect this level of manipulation. This is going to be a dirty job. I'll check through the bag for the rest of it. We feel like it's worse than the body in the pool. It's been eaten by the water. Why is it all red? It feels like it's been eaten by the water. It's been eaten by the water. 不过这个切口上好整齐，袋子里的东西。Scalpel, scissors, syringe, magnifying glass, knife. Hmm. I guess I forgot to clean the knife. I wasn't sure it would amount to anything, but the world wide web. Maybe there will be something worth noting about the victim's clothes. Leather belt. Plain gun T-shirt, classic jeans. Well, <sighs> certainly not my style. Hmm. 
traces of... Is this... Hmm? Interesting. Most of the blood is visible around the neckline. However, after decapitation, I would expect a larger stain, reaching much further. traces of soil. It's a bit like the perpetrators pulled his shirt over his head. The blood stains don't appear to be related to any injuries on the body. The deceased must have been unclothed before he was injured. Traces of dirt mixed with blood and rubbed leaf litter. Heavens must have been crawling, or was dragged along the ground. A lighter, engraved with the police insignia, stolen, or maybe purchased from a pawn shop. It looks somehow. Uh, it's probably a coincidence. For a partner in crime. stuck here. It looks like some kind of ectasis scale. This could point to an animal being responsible. And here, another animal souvenir. Hmm. It looks different than the previous one. The only thing I can tell from the clothes is that before his death, Evans had either put up quite a fight, or the attackers simply dragged him along the ground for a long distance. In turn, and this is certainly strange, the injuries themselves were inflicted only when he was naked. That is, first he was injured and then his body was torn up. I'll take a look at the scales. They seem too different. Dorothy once brought an animal encyclopedia here. She performed an autopsy on an exotic animal smuggler. The guy suffered an accident while transporting illegal animals. Not only were the police needed on site, but it took nearly a day to round up his cargo. Dorothy had a hard time with that case. Did the impact kill him? Or did one of the animals he was transporting do him in? They even talked about it on the news. People were terrified that some reptile would just come out of their can and grab them. Okay, the book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who is this? Alright. Wildlife. I bet I'll find something here. Oh, that was quick. I wouldn't expect anything else. I'll first have to check the body for marks and then come back to it. Not this area, but who knows? I don't know why I'm even bothering to compare. That's one smile you wouldn't want to get near to. Nile crocodile. What kind is this? Ah, salt water. An interesting pattern, very diverse, but that's not the one. Oh yes, this turtle turned out to be a killer. He ripped off the guy's wrist and tore him in a few other places. Aggressive beast. I only need to concentrate on the crocodile chapter. I don't know why I'm even bothering to compare it. It's immediately obvious that it's not a match. No way. 
I would expect something local. I certainly don't remember hearing of an animal escaping from the zoo. So, either someone donned in crocodile products was around the deceased, or one of them attacked him. I'll examine the body and take photos. If an animal attacked him, there'll be traces. Ugh, Christ. Why am I so tired? Some coffee would be nice. Uh, what was I supposed to... Ah, the pictures. I'll have to show them to Dorothy. Too bad that we no longer keep our ranking. With something like that, <laughs> I would come out on top. There has been a case like this for a long, long time. All right, I'll begin. The deceased skin is smooth and taut. This suggests an advanced stage of decomposition of the corpse. Wow, so many things to pay attention. That's not hard to miss. This wound appears to have been made by a sharp instrument. Hmm, interesting. This needs to be investigated further. It's unlikely that a human would make such a wound. Such a wound could not have occurred during the victim's lifetime. There are also clear traces of the deceased ankles being bound in some way. Hmm? And as expected, it's a bite. several threads. Like torn meat. I wonder whether the decapitation took place before or after death. To check. Hmm. I have I should inspect these areas with a magnifying glass first. The work of animals can be seen here. The question is which ones. This looks very promising. The bite is clearly visible, and should be easy to compare it with the encyclopedia and identify the culprit. I just need to make it a little bigger. It'll be faster than physically measuring the bite. I hope I put it in right. I can never remember whether it was image up or image down. I didn't have facilities like a fax machine. Everything was done by hand. Ah, fantastic! Practically a one-to-one. Just some tracing paper, a pencil, and I can check these in the encyclopedia. Now, did I leave them in a drawer or maybe a box somewhere? 
Ugh. I don't remember if I left them out somewhere. They definitely pay me too little for this. Oh, looks like I can tidy up after myself. Sometimes. Archives. Just as lifeless as the corpses they concern. case so far. I'll have to consult the encyclopedia again. Good thing Dorothy left it here. Otherwise I would have had to run back to my place to get some. Concerned if it was this crocodile that killed him. The shape of the jaw appears correct, but not the teeth. Uh, that's not it. That makes sense. This would also explain the molt found in the clothes. It turns out that some of the wounds can be safely blamed on local alligators. However, we cannot blame them for the decapitation. It's not these animals we should be afraid of here. Uh, I should make some notes and start the autopsy. Oh. And uh, it doesn't look good. Evans wasn't decapitated with one cut. Several stab wounds of varying depth and circumference. Mississippi alligator. Hmm. It's strange that an alligator would leave such a clear and smooth mark. The result of an animal tearing at its body, eating skin, soft tissues, and chandles. There are even some teeth marks, but, uh, well, it doesn't look like an alligator. The bite is firmly incorporated into the wound. A photo alone won't help me here. I need to make a cast and compare it. Hmm. The imprints are quite deep and even. From the looks of it, I'd say Evans was restrained with his own belt. Looks like an uneven bite. It's worth taking a closer look at this. Maybe there will be some remaining teeth marks. Evan's right side must have been more attractive to the crocs and insects. Very strong binding marks. You can see peeled epidermis and small wounds. Looks like the killer might have missed before they finally hit the neck. Ugh. There's no end to playing zoologist today. I need a tool with dental impression cement. Can I find it here? Uh, no. It's probably lying somewhere around in the lab. Cement has expired. Oh, 
the truth. A month after the due date. That could be worse. This is something. to cover the bite area. Wait until it hardens. Mm. Uh. Uh, I think it's ready. Mm. The cast looks quite contaminated from the other wounds in that area. Uh, well, let's hope the imprint turns out better. Brush, ink, and paper. Similar to taking fingerprints. Paint over the area. And put a piece of paper on it. Uh, that's very strange. Um, run it through the facts and check it on the computer. I really don't want to believe what I'm seeing. Human teeth. Oh, fuck. I need to tell this to Stephen. Is it a Everything is cataloged correctly. This seems to be good. Hmm. Maybe not everything is cataloged correctly. This could be good. 是了吧? Loading. Uh, it'll probably take a while. In prison, so he's out. Another in prison. No. <laughs> Quite interesting tendencies. Ah, oh, he's dead. It doesn't fit. This one doesn't either. Uh, I'm afraid this will remain a mystery. The killer's profile is getting more and more interesting. You may not have died, but you may have died. 
这个人已经出狱了，出狱的应该可以吧？这个也出狱了，两个人已经出狱，一个人已经死了。<笑>这个人啊，他这个配音有时候也太割裂了吧？本来还在很冷静的念那个各种验尸报告，然后一会儿每次要有精神崩溃了。他每次都摸了尸体的手套，直接吃药，让我好难受啊！这个事情就很像《阿兰行星》里面的地狱事情。You can see that the tool used was sharp and smooth. Torn tissue, lacerations, bite wounds. This wound turned out to be more troublesome than I thought it would be. They look quite shallow. Someone must have inflicted these with some sort of primitive tool. Hmm. Maybe something chased that alligator away before it bit down properly. For obvious reasons, I record decapitation as the cause of death. The perfect breeding ground for larvae. Fortunately, the deceased doesn't care about it, just like we do now. The abdominal and genital area are supplied with plenty of blood. If the penis was bitten off while he was alive, Evans could have bled to death. I need to verify how deep these wounds go. If they punctured the organs, hemorrhaging could have occurred. Alligators rarely kill humans, due to the body fat of the deceased. Time for internal analysis. Finally, first of all, I'll try to determine whether death occurred before the decapitation, or if it ended Evan's suffering. Hmm. Many teeth. He doesn't open the mouth. When I remove the ribs, I expect to see even more fat on the organs. Hmm. Correct. High levels of internal fat, organ size above average due to obesity. I move on to the lung analysis. The deceased smoked cigarettes, but more importantly, you can see that the lungs have clearly suffered severe trauma. The lung parenchyma, and. This is the culprit. Well, it didn't look like the holes were that deep. Such hemorrhage could have been caused by hitting the chest with a blunt object, or a pump. Open pneumothorax should be added to this. The deceased could have experienced extreme hypoxia, and as a result, obstructive shock. I wonder what the heart looks like then. The organ is enlarged with very clear, light yellow traces. This neck down, the 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 Which is also a life-threatening condition. Evans, however, is remarkably clean, considering this turn of events. This all looks quite disturbing. I wonder if I'll find anything on the liver. The organ is fatty and enlarged. 
beginnings of cirrhosis are obvious. Hmm. Well, like a bad taste. This time, nothing to write home about. So I proceed to carefully remove the stomach. Like most other organs, it is fatty and clearly enlarged. Not to mention swollen, partially due to gases, but mainly due to the deceased's lifestyle. I take the organ to the cutting board. The outside is intact. I'm going to check the contents. It sounds like there's an unusually large amount of undigested. Uh, and now rotten stomach contents inside. Wow. Well. Uh, blood. Evans had to swallow it due to his injuries, which means he was still alive when he was brutally wounded in the chest. Trachea left to be examined. Surprisingly, it's not damaged by the decapitation. I move on to cutting it open. Okay, I carefully cut and blood, just as I expected. Heavens not only swallowed it, but also choked on it. Looks like I can wrap this up. Let me tie this together. After he was abducted, stripped, and tied up, he was dealt several penetrating blows to the chest. Then his head was cut off. Evans was deprived of his genitals, and the body served as an easy meal for the animals. Even though there are a lot of injuries on the body that could cause death, it was the decapitation that ended Evans' life. The animal bites on the limbs occurred after death, so there's no reason to treat these as the cause of death. The damage to the lungs and heart must have led to severe hemorrhaging, so there's no doubt that Evans was choking in bloody convulsions, but it didn't last too long. Which I conclude from the small amount of blood in the stomach and trachea. I never thought I'd ever wish someone to have a heart attack. But in this case, uh, it would have been better for him. In some way, it can be said with certainty that James Evans was murdered. Ah oh, well, uh, I need to stitch this poor guy back up. Ah, it's really bothering me. Something's not right here, because even now, the organs are relatively clean. The skin around wounds also, it's like, hmm, someone pumped it out? Oh, Christ, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Leave these questions for the police to solve. And now, uh, I get to head home. Uh, it's a fucked up thing. I'll hold off taking long walks in the forest for the near future. I have a feeling that it won't end with just one body. Good night, Mr. Ridley. The body is ready to be picked up. Uh, I think it's the first time in a long time that I finished work. Oh, come on. Fuck. Hmm? When did I get a flat tire? What the f fuck? I'm going to Ridley's. Maybe he saw something. <laughs> Oh, 
他在这个里面怎么可能看到什么 ？Ridley, do you know what happened to my car? What happened to your car? All the tires are fucking flat. Well, it happens. Don't you have a spare in the trunk? Spare ones in the trunk? No one carries four fucking extra tires in the trunk. Jesus, hand me, calm down. I'll call you a taxi. Calm down? That's a bit of an exaggeration, don't you think? Have you seen anyone around here? Someone strange, suspicious? Except you, no. Ha、uh, ha, funny. I don't find all these jokes amusing, you know. What jokes? Hammy, I mean, what's wrong with you? It's just tires. Such things are not a coincidence. What's wrong with me? Things keep happening. Last week, and now this. Just go wait for the taxi, okay? Fresh air would do you good. <sighs> Neither you nor I will do anything about it now. Neither you nor I will do anything. What have you been doing all day? Surely something like this can't just be overlooked. Maybe you should go outside and cool down. I'm calling a taxi. Cool town. <sighs> I just. I just want to sleep.